How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Lies of P. So in the last episode, we came into the underground area of Lorenzini Arcade. This place is pretty big. Um, and this part, I'm a little frightened of because I have seen this in the showcases prior to the game coming out. And there is a frightening looking jester that pops out here. And I think these guys break out of the cages here. The cells, rather. So yeah, that is a complete trap item. You can see him behind there. We'll see how this goes. Probably gonna get utterly annihilated, but we'll see. Gonna throw this on just in case. Yep. What's up, buddy? Oh, God. Oh! Because his break? Oh, great. Oh my god, this dude is nuts. Yo! Holy shit. Alright. Um, since he causes break, I am going to up my break resistance here. So, if you guys don't remember correctly, or remember, um, should have said correctly. Uh, if you guys don't remember, break uh, causes your healing to be less effective. So we want more resistance to that. Dude, this guy is nuts. Back off, and he's able to like pull you into him. It's crazy. Oof. Here come his friends. Oh shit, they're attacking each other. What is this? Oh my, the delay. No, go after each other. Don't come after me. Wow. Oh my. Dude, the jumping around and the delay. Oh my god. Shit, Zach. Oh! Dude, this guy's insane. Go. Oh. Okay, get some of that. Oh. Please die. This guy is utterly frightening. Oh, thank God. Woo! <laughs> Damn. Wow. I don't even know what I got right there. <laughs> Jesus. That was intense. Holy shit. If I never see that guy anytime soon, I will be a happy person. At least, uh, at least the, uh, they were, the other enemies and him were fighting each other. That 
provided a little bit of a distraction there. So the side quest for that lady in Rosa Isabel Street uh, was saying that something in the Lorenzini basement here. Isn't the old woman about the oh shit! It's right there. A lady looking for some wine. La you don't like the wine you've got? La Bui? I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know. I still can't say that. Leeway. Probably sound like an utter, utter idiot. Oh. Got a party in here. Come on. Nope. Not that. There we go. Got a heal back. Fantastic. Let me out. It's the other side. Well, that uh, that didn't go too terrible. That guy took me like, uh, like four or five tries. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Calling Amy and all stargazers in the vicinity. Please respond. Over. this now. Fantastic. This place is pretty big. Lots of shortcuts. Alright. So let's see what's in this other direction here. I saw that in the uh, in the showcases. I was like, "Oh man, dude looks scary looking." I don't know. I think honestly, the worst so far has been uh, the Archbishop and uh, that mad clown puppet. <laughs> King of Puppets suck a bit, too, but honestly, it wasn't too bad once you learn. We're out of the arcade now, it looks like. The Grand Exhibition theme was Automatic Puppets and City of the Future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Krat. But, you know the rest. You can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. And now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Sword guys again? Looked a little different. Get a chainsaw bit. Chainsaw head doggo.
<laughs> this dude walking. He looks like he's got a dump in his pants. <laughs> That was pretty funny. I know he was guarding and everything, but that just looked hilarious. And I know it's a puppet too, but that's, uh, I call it as I see it. That's what it looked like. More greatsword guys. That they remind me of the ones from Steel Rising. Ah. Sucks too, because it caused a break. What do we have over here? Oh, Jesus, what the hell is that? <laughs> nope. I'm out. I'm fighting you over there. Oh, Jesus, he's still coming. Thought he was gonna stay over there. Bro, he's still coming. Dude. What is the leash distance on this guy? <laughs> okay. I think he... I think he went back. Jesus. That was a little frightening. Deal with him in a minute. Looks like there's a shortcut there. You. Backstab for you. Damn, backstab didn't kill you? I think that's it. Um, doors up there. I don't know if that leads to a boss or what. It only looks like boss doors, doesn't it? Alright, so before we do all that, let's go back and see if we can take care of Mr. Electric Man over here. Looked like he had some sort of electric weapon or something. Which I think he is a puppet, so I should probably put this on. It's dark. What's up, buddy? Oh, oh my. Okay, I'm hurt. That much is for sure. Probably use the electric grindstone. But I will get two elements going. Ow. Ah. There we go.
in the wind. Weapon durability was all the way down. Okay, so uh, we did take care of uh, Mr. Electric Pants. That sucked. I almost had him that one time, and my uh, did not realize that the weapon durability was all the way down. But oh well, we got him. Um, so, here, something happened to my recording again when I was fighting him and actually did beat him. Uh, so I did, I did come up here and go on the tram, went across there and there's a little shortcut. I'll show you guys uh, down to the next. Stargazer, so we just go on here, activate this, and there are a couple items up top here, and then uh, went on the tram and kicked down a ladder and got to the next Stargazer, and that's where we'll pick up in the next episode. A little short section there. down and we are at our next area. So we will pick up this next time. Continue on. So hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.